So I'm going to do something that is undoubtedly going to um, get me called um, <laughs> blasphemous. It's going to be called blasphemous and heretical and insane. Um, but and I want to show you this is the Quran that I grew up with. Um, I still try to keep it in good condition, even though it's worn out and. I mean, that's really worn out. And I still love the smell of it. And that is, I'm going to compile my own, a religious text. Now, this, hear me out. Just hear me out on this one. The Bible, right? These are actually both translations of the Peshitta. Um, uh, but I, w I don't have a King James right in front of me, but the Bible, the Western Bible, right? Um, that never seemed like scripture to me. It, it was never religious scripture to me. I mean, it, the beginning parts of Genesis, and it's probably because the beginning parts of Genesis were three different, by, written by three different, it, three different authors writing. Um, two competing with one of them, giving uh, conflicting accounts and being jammed together, and then you have a cr the chronicle, basically an ancient history, a court chronicle from Judges to Second Kings. The prophets kind of sounded like scripture, but they were speaking and addressing specific times, and it didn't make much sense, and it. It was more political, and then you had um, the Psalms. They seemed like scripture. The New Testament were <clears throat> letters and bios. I mean, early biographies. That's what they they always had uh, magic in them and miracles. But this, to me, seemed like scripture, right? And and so did. Um, many of the Buddhist and the, especially Taoist, um, I also forgot my copy of the Tao Te Ching. The Satanic Bible it takes the route of the Christian way. And I, even though I have, have great respect and I actually, I, I really like the Satanic Bible. The questions that atheists are asking, and that even um, religious searching people are asking, or um, uh, sometimes I know the question, I have to answer the questions that they ask, right? But sometimes they don't know the right question. And that's basically all religious problems. All religious problems. Again, I'm saying religious. Um, which is not just spiritual or personal. It's it's the identity of your community, your history, and concerning your future. Um, and things like God, the soul, and an afterlife get in the way. That's why the Buddha said, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you whether they exist or not, but um, almost act like they don't. Because it's going to get in the way of what I'm saying. And to reach um, these people, and actually even Protestants, I'm going to have to compile a text that is like Scripture. It's not this historical account that stretches from, you know, Bronze Age Canaan through Iron Age... Um, Israel to Iron Age, Israel and Judea, and then the Babylonian captivity, and then interspersed period of um, when Sparta was fighting Persia, and then another part written when the Romans were around in, under Roman occupation that ends in the first century AD. I mean, it began with these even stories that are older than probably written language itself that were being retold because they're everywhere. 
they're uh i mean it, that are it, these base stories that are just in our psyche um and then you get super technical with things like uh land permits and joshua and building the ark i mean those obviously weren't nobody wh whoever sat down with joshua was actually the book basically is lay is is laying it's like a plat survey it's the most boring thing of who owns what land obviously these people who had conquered this land were parsing it out and trying to figure out where and what and uh, because if they didn't they're probably these these confederated tribes because they were tribes it wasn't one tribe would kill each other um this happened in what's called the g and dark ages but um is when the Israelites were born because they basically invaded a land. There were nomads that invaded a land and killed the inhabitants. I mean, that's what happened, right? But, um, and I'm holding this the wrong way once again. Hold on. Can we do it? No. But yeah, sorry for it being in picture mode. That's what I'm going to do. Because uh, I need... To communicate to people and because there's a yearning and there's a wondering why but people who become either atheists or Wiccans or whatever or even Julianists or that become very political um, lose something I whether they know it or not but I think they do and they don't know so what Muhammad did what John the Baptist did, what Jesus did, what Isaiah did, what um, Gautama Siddhartha did, what um, Lao Tzu did, is they spoke directly truth to people. They didn't try to make fancy arguments. Paul tried to make arguments, but he also spoke truth. He did debate, but he spoke truth. But um, he, again, he wasn't the main head honcho, he was Christ. And if people didn't understand his words, he didn't care. He walked, he had half his disciples leave at one point. Um, and that's actually the, I have to cut through all that nonsense. Say, this is actually what we believe because there's no way to, commu what orthodoxy, when we say Eastern Orthodox Christian, the well is so poisoned by Western Christianity that I almost feel like the label Christian is a slander against our belief and our religion and our culture and our traditions because it looks nothing like modern Roman Catholicism or any form of Protestantism. I mean, we, we're closer to Buddhists than we are to them and no joke and we're closer to Muslims and Zoroastrians in a lot of ways um, I mean we are actually an Eastern religion, right, but um, it, it, it This this label of Christian this weight of, of a thousand years of brainwashing of, of, of what is that horrible thing in 1984 um, newspeak I mean when we say sin it means the almost exact opposite of what sin means in the West one is tra breaking a law transgressing a law doing something bad and the other is uh, missing the mark it's an archery term um, and there's so many things salvation actually means healing faith actually means loyalty I mean, it's there's so many things. The, the word of God actually is not the Bible. It's actually the Tao, the Logos. So I'm going to compile something. Um, not going to be really my words. It's just going to be words from ancient writings. Um, and maybe some of mine. Uh, but I'm not going to be speaking to anybody. I'm not going to be answering any arguments. And I'm going to put it out there and see what people think. 
hopefully it'll speak to somebody because I want to cut through all that uh, the BS of, of the necessity of the culture and all the I mean people already know this and it's like um, it's worse than mental masturbation it's just a useless argument to try to convince the other side that you're right that's stupid I, that's why we don't proselytize so this is a way of, get, of not proselytizing but of showing the evangel so peace to you